Hey guys, how's it going? Um, I'm Amanda and we're going to be going through how to seal our valve bags. So if you've ever bought roasted coffee from us, you've gotten a bag like this. It's all sealed up at the top. It's got the ziplock, and then when you're ready to open it, you can just tear at the notches or use scissors. So if you'd like to do that at home, um, you know, the ziplocks on these bags are very strong, but if you're shipping your coffee or something like that, you probably want to seal it up. Here at Sweet Maria's, we have a crimper sealer. So it's, it's a machine that's designed for heat sealing bags, but you don't need one of those for home. All you need is a handy dandy iron. So to do it, Take your bag. We're using these uh, gold foil half pound bags to demonstrate this. And when you open it up and fill it up with coffee, this is what it looks like. So to seal it up, have your iron nice and hot. You want it to be on a dry setting. Don't use steam. And um, make sure you have you know, something to protect your surface so you don't get plastic uh, melted on there. So we've got a bar towel here. All we're gonna do is lay this down like this you can see where these notches are. Definitely don't want to seal over those. It'll make it a little bit harder to open the bag. But um, we've got our iron. All you need to do is just run across it like this. You know, if you're a perfectionist and you want a really nice clean line, you know, maybe be a little bit more careful than I am. But you can see here that the plastic and the foil have fused together. So this is a nice tidy seal. So. Um, you know, if you're shipping coffee to some family members or if you just want to make sure it's totally sealed up, this is a good way to do it.